Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather. In this update, we're going to be talking about the possibility of our next tropical cyclone. So if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. So let's get right to it. Uh, first of all, hey, do me a favor. Uh, go and uh, like my Instagram, uh, my Facebook, as well as my Twitter. I'm, I'm actually on all three platforms and I, d I give uh, daily updates on all three of those platforms when I'm not uploading a video. So you can get timely, up-to-date warnings, watches and warnings. Uh, so I'll put a description link in, link below, but uh, yeah, go look me up on uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, as well as Facebook. So yeah, what we're looking at here is we're looking at this broad area of a, a trough that's going to be in, over the southeast coastline. That's going to be drifting out in the open waters over the next uh, several days. And the National Hurricane Center has a, a marginal risk for a conducive, some tr you know, gradual development from this particular system. Right now, it's got a 30% chance of it possibly forming into a tropical depression or possibly a tropical storm you know over the next uh, five days so let me kind of go over the parameters and how all this played out what we're looking at here this is that cold front that uh, we talked about all of last week and it slowed down and a lot of times along these cold fronts uh, you get these areas of low pressure that could be forming on the tails of these fronts. So right now, it's still over land. This, this, uh, this little disturbance is still over land, but once it gets over the open waters, that's when the National Hurricane Center has already highlighted that chance of it possibly some getting some sort of tropical uh, you know, cyclone-type entity uh, forming out of this particular system. But it's got a lot of rain with this. I mean, either way right now, it's still over land producing some heavier rain, you know, over portions of uh, Florida, as well as the southeast coastline of uh, Georgia, as well as uh, South Carolina. And a lot of these steering currents are going to be light over the next uh, several days. So it's really not expected to move very far at all once it gets out into the open waters. But once it gets out in the open waters, that's when it's got time to come, you know, to become a little bit more, uh, you know, conducive for development and gradually form and possible uh, to a, a low end uh, tropical depression. So as we as we zoom out, there are several features I wanted to kind of highlight. Uh, there's that system off the coastline right now. We also have another system down here by Panama. That's a lot of instability down here into Costa Rica. That's actually going to be. Uh, continue to traversing off uh, to the west here, and it's probably gonna be forming into another tropical uh, storm would be Hilda in the Eastern Pacific over the next you know five or six days. Uh, what that's essentially gonna do, it's not gonna be again, not gonna be a direct impact for uh, anything land wise, but indirect impacts are gonna be that monsoon you know, flow that's gonna continue uh, to remain active for them. I mean, look what's happening right now with the monsoon over the Four Corners regions. And I do feel, you know, once this system gets into play as well, that'll just aggravate uh, the monsoon that they're going they're going through right now over the last several several weeks. And it looks to really start to pick up uh, this weekend. And so this will just aggravate the, uh, the the monsoon and the flash flooding issues that they've been dealing with in that uh, area of the country. But uh, as far as the tropics goes, there's the latest probability of the EPS guidance from these particular systems. Right now, it's got about a you know, 40, 50, 60 percent chance of this possibly forming into a tropical cyclone over the next 48 to 96 hours. And there's that uh, there's that probability down here by Panama, a lot greater, I get about 90 percent. So that's almost a more certainty. This is a little bit less certainty because there's a lot there's just a lot of less steering currents what's happening uh, with this system. A lot of times when you get these uh, you know, old fronts that stall out over the open waters, these systems have very, you know, they have a history of basically, you know, kind of meandering around for a period of time. Uh, most of them dissipate, some of them go off into the Northeast. Some of them, you know, do impact land, but for certainty, if they do form, it's probably going to be a very low end type storm 
just barely a tropical depression or probably barely a tropical storm. And if it does get named, it would be named a uh, tropical storm uh, Fred out there. But yeah, look at the latest uh, EPS guidance of the spaghetti models. Pretty much has this in and around kind of meandering or off the uh, southeast coast, uh, impacting with some heavier rains along uh, Florida here, getting into the southeast coast of uh, Georgia as well as the Carolina over the over the over the coming days. But it also has a possibility of it kind of lifting up and, and taking it out to sea as well so let me kind of zoom in there's several features that i kind of highlighted with you know a similar type system that uh, this particular system has with these kind of stalled fronts that come out of the southeastern coast uh if you remember way back in uh 2012 was a tropical storm barrel uh back then it had a stalled front off the southeast coast it kind of just kind of did a loop-de-loop. -loop. It's kind of like what this system's going to be doing now. It's going to be kind of sitting and spinning over the over the coming days. And this one actually brought it inland towards, uh, say, Jacksonville area uh, to the northern coastline. And then it brought it back out of the Carolina coast. And then it went out to sea. But it was a pretty minimal storm uh, back then. And back in uh, 2012, there was also a tropical storm uh, Edward as well kind of did the same thing just kind of set and span spun for a couple days uh, started on September the 1st here uh, once it got some traction it, it definitely uh, it moved inland but then eventually just kind of dissipate so these system pretty much have a history of uh, if they do form they're not going to be forming into you know a big system or anything like that but it's something to definitely to watch uh, off the coastline they call these what they call homegrown systems that are essentially form near land. Right now, it's that little uh, broad area surface trough is still over land. So it still actually has to get over the open waters and then it still has to possibly form over the coming days and then would go, then would possibly go inland as maybe a tropical depression. So let me take a look at the latest, uh, you know, 850 millibar cyclonic vorticity index. It kind of zooms in and gives you a better picture uh, here's the latest update for Saturday, uh, July the 24th. Has that system offshore off the southeast coast. It's uh, very subtle. I mean, you can almost barely pick it out here, but there's a little area of low pressure trying to uh, form out here in the southeast coast. I put the uh, precipital water uh, imagery on here because even when it's out in the, in the open waters, it's still going to be sending pulses of uh, heavier rains uh, into uh, Florida, South Florida, Central Florida, and some of that actually might be impacting uh, Louisiana while this system's off the southeast coastline. Well, once we go into uh, Sunday, it does appear that it, it, it tries to get a little bit more spin to it. It tries to get a little bit more uh, circulation along with it as it's getting pulled towards the coastline. So, uh, it, it does appear that's going to be off the coastline on Sunday with some very heavy rain, again, wrapping around this system, possibly into South Florida, getting into parts of Louisiana. But as we go into that Monday time frame, yes, it, def, it, it looks like whatever this could be, it could it maybe possibly come back. And uh, if it, you know, either way, it's going to be a pretty good rain producer, whatever may come out of the system. But, but yeah, it's a probability it could be a low end tropical system, probably a tropical depression, uh, you know, coming coming ashore here off the northern coast of Florida, possibly the southeast coast of uh, Georgia here and uh, in the Carolina region as well with some some heavier rains are going to be uh, impact in the area by the time uh, Monday uh, rolls around. If you take a look at the steering currents, it kind of depicts on what's really happening. Here's what it looks like uh, on Sunday. We have this developing system that we talked about this morning. I do feel we're going to have a severe weather uh, uh, kind of outbreak over, over this region as this continues through the day on Sunday. It's probably going to be over the Ohio Valley uh, somewhere. But look at the steering currents going to continue to shift these, this system off to the southeast. But once this system makes it inland, you, these can actually see these steering currents these winds would actually push this system inland so this is actually going to be helping this system possibly push inland as it goes through possibly uh you know the northern tier of florida getting into the southern parts of uh, georgia possibly even in the in the southern tiers of south carolina 
But once this passes through, this would actually pick up this moisture and then probably lift it off the sea. So that's probably what's going to particularly happen with this system. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, we were looking at a, a probably a low wind tropical storm, if possibly a tropical depression by the time we get into, you know, late this weekend into Monday, uh, of, you know, of, of next week impacting northern tip of Florida or possibly off the southeast coastline of Georgia or South Carolina. So, hey, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. I uh, do like this video and definitely leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where I protect you before and after storm.